Now, why should we give? Number one, we should give for the needs of others to be met. God does not give to the orphan, widow, needy, or poor directly from heaven, does he? What does he do? His plan is that the needs of these special people, these less privileged people, should be supplied by the more fortunate ones. Did you get that? God's desire is for the widows, the orphans, the needy, the poor, be given by the fortunate ones. In the Acts of the Apostles, we find that those who didn't have, had because those who had sold what they had or brought what they had and they distributed to equally with everybody and so everybody had you have to be a channel of god's blessings to others unless we give to the poor unless we give to the poor they will not get anything you remember the statement jesus made he said the poor you will always have with you why because there are people who will not have the the faith and it is not god's fault they will just be there and will not want to lift themselves and without the knowledge of lifting themselves they won't be lifted so god still wants to provide for them and he wants to use you and i to provide for them all right so god does not drop anything directly from heaven for these people needs of your life is not actually met directly from heaven as you pray to god he touches somebody who meets your needs and that's why you have destiny helpers and so if you are not doing unto others how do you expect god to respond by doing by making others to do for you that's where luke 6 38 comes handy he said, give and it shall be giving back to you a good measure. Press down, shake it together, and running over. Will men give to your bosom? Men, human beings. So you are a human being. Obey the injunction of giving. Give to the bosom of others. As you do that, God will now give back to you good measure. Press down, running over, shake it together. That, that men will give also unto you so we give because we need to meet the needs of others number two we give for the needs in the lord's ministry to be met we give for the need in the lord's work to be met there are needs in the lord's household in the church listen to this the church cannot do its work effectively without finance praise god the church and i need us to get it clearly the church cannot do its work effectively without finance everything you see here cost money every time we hold service we spend money we are live streaming we are burning data okay the, there is light and elect electricity we are burning fuel the generator is not free the chairs were bought with money everything costs something and so it is god's plan that all the needs of ministry should be met through the tithes and offerings of the believers the church should be run by the tithes and offering of the believers that's god's plan that's why he said bring in all the tithes into the stores so that there be meat meat is a metaphor for the needs of a church 
the needs of running the church if everyone who comes to church gives all their tithes and offerings thanksgiving first fruits seed faith offerings strictly according to god's word the needs of a ministry will be more than met adequately but ministries are struggling because the people do not believe that it is their responsibility to give for the running of the ministry as a matter of fact a lot of people come to church to take rather than to give and as a believer my responsibility is to give for the propagation of the gospel because when i do that my needs will be met the primary duty of church is to preach the gospel not to meet the needs of the members did you get that listen to this the number one objective of the church is to preach the gospel not to meet the needs of its members the needs of the members are secondary issue the primary issue is what preach the gospel and so the finance of the church must primarily be channeled towards running the church in a way that it preaches the gospel effectively to its target audience and so it is a wrong orientation for believers to come to church and think that it is the church's responsibility to take care of their needs no that's not the reason why the church exists the church exists not to do welfare the church exists to preach the gospel in the process of preaching the gospel there will be opportunities and instances where welfare will be taken care of but it cannot and should never be the primary objective of the church that's why when i hear people say uh, that church is very big there should be building hospitals there should be building uh, roads and there should be taking the role that government should be playing no government's job listen to the job of a government the government's job is to do what is to protect lives and properties and ensure the welfare of the citizens by provision of health facilities educational you know facilities after protecting through security and ensuring the safety of the people that's government job it's not the church responsibility so out of ignorance a lot of people think that the gov the church should start doing government job of welfare no within the church administration and running of things it can take care of welfare activities but that is not the primary job of a church and so the the, the needs of a church primarily is to win souls to organize itself to win souls and that needs finance and the finance for doing that has to come with come from who the believers the believers in that assembly in that church 